of the Italian cooking in association with Simply Good Food TV, where today we're going to make a simple baked asparagus. There are a couple sides that go with nearly every Italian main course, uh, one of which is Brussels sprouts, which I've done a couple videos on. The other one's asparagus, which we're going to make in this video. Asparagus is a member of the lily family and originated around 2,000 years ago in the Mediterranean region. Asparagus is one of the most nutritionally well-balanced vegetables that you can find. It's a great source of vitamins A, C, K, potassium, fiber, iron, and other nutrients that are essential for your diet. Uh, asparagus also has anti-inflammatory properties and is a great source of antioxidants. And this baked asparagus, it just takes a couple minutes to uh, prepare, then you throw it in your oven. Could be easier, so let's get started. Let's take a look at the ingredients for our simple baked asparagus. And this is simple baked asparagus because it couldn't be any more easy. We have asparagus, just one bunch of asparagus. We have some garlic powder, Parmesan cheese, salt and pepper to taste, and of course we always have a little bit of olive oil. So let's get started and just show you how simple asparagus can be. So all you want to do on your asparagus here is take the woody ends and just kind of chop off the, the bottom, the woody ends. They get a little crunchy at the bottom. So nothing real scientific. I usually just take off the bottom inch to inch and a half and thankfully you can go through a whole bunch of asparagus real quick with a good sharp knife just toss those into our bowl now all we want to do is we want to get our asparagus coated pretty good with olive oil so i'm going to add what two three tablespoons of olive oil in here and just kind of toss those around you want to make sure that you get them completely coated with olive oil the tops make sure you get the tops in there real good as well and then what we're going to do is break away real quick and wash our hands oil free hands now all we're going to do is we're going to add our salt and our pepper just salt and pepper to taste no prescribed amount you know how much salt and pepper you like in your foods put that much garlic powder we're probably going to put about a teaspoon of garlic powder in here I don't tend to measure a lot. I just kind of go, as I always say, go with my gut. That looks like about enough. And then we are going to take, whoops, if we do the right side of the, the cheese here, rather than the rind, we'll probably get a couple tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. Finely grated there. That looks about right. I'm gonna go ahead and come back with a little tiny bit more olive oil. We're gonna to toss this again. Let me push this out of frame. Come in with my baking sheet here. We'll toss this again. We wanna make sure we get our seasonings spread throughout, get our Parmesan cheese spread all over our wonderful asparagus. Then, I'd say that's probably good enough. Then we just lay them on your baking sheet. Spread them all out. Nice and even. This goes in the oven at 425 degrees for 12 to 15 minutes. If you like them a little bit more charred, leave them in a little bit longer. If you like them uh, nice and crunchy, 12 minutes is probably enough. I like to get a little bit of collar on them, get a little char on them. So 12 to 15 minutes in the oven. Like I said, what did it take? Three minutes to prep these. And so uh, my mouth's watering because I'm thinking about eating these things. Once again, I'm going to wash my hands. I'm going to throw these in the oven. When we come back, we'll see how they taste. Our asparagus is done. I pulled it out of the oven. Let it stop sizzling for just a split second and then got it plated up. Uh, this asparagus, again, such a simple side dish. Toss it in olive oil, throw on your seasonings, put it on a sheet pan, let it bake 12 to 15 minutes, and then you're done, you're ready to eat. Asparagus goes with almost nearly every Italian dish. Um, 
meats, your pastas, just pretty much anything. Um, it's the perfect side. And I also like it because it's kid friendly. You don't necessarily have to use your fork. But, mm, mm, it's good. I love asparagus. The seasonings, the, the garlic, salt, pepper, the Parmesan, all of those flair, flavors layer on top of the asparagus, which is already delicious. It's a great vegetable. But it just really brings out even more and more of the flavor. Mmm. Nice and tender. Some people I've seen, they like it to get a little bit more of a char on them. Just leave them in there a little bit longer or in the last minute or two, turn on your, um, turn on your broiler. But that's it, this side dish. Simple, we're done, time to eat. With that, thank you so much for watching. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Gmail, but most importantly, click that subscribe button in YouTube and ring the bell so that you get a notification anytime I post a new video. And also, download that Simply Good Food TV app. I'm starving. I worked all day. It's time to eat. Ciao. Oh.